Hi everyone, it's Lynn of Makeup In and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start of the year. I know it's a little late for me to greet you guys a happy new year, but I'm still gonna do. And for today's video, to start off the year right, I wanted to give or share with you guys the latest technique that I ginagawa with my oily skin and to prevent my makeup from caking, from, from you know, oiling up throughout the day and this is how it looks like ito yung makeup ko usually kapag ka lumalabas ako though hindi naman ako madalas lumabas this is the makeup look that I've been wearing and I've been loving for the past few months already um yeah it's very easy but the main focus of this video is how I achieve or how I do my foundation routine since I have oily skin and so far ito yung steps or ito yung parang procedures na ginagawa ko na talagang nag-work para sa akin lately. I'm not so sure if it's new to you guys, but for me, it has been, it has changed my foundation game and it lasts on my skin for really, really long time. I think I can wear this makeup for around 8 o'clock in the morning and still looks good at the end of the night. It's like around 8 to 10 hours wear na talagang pulido. Still, from time to time, you will notice na medyo nag-oil up yung, skin, yung aking tizon. But it's not something like oily-oily, if you guys know what I mean. It's very to tolerable on my case. Kaya, I wanted to share this one with you guys. And hope makatulong ako sa inyo at makakuha kayo ng konting tips and tricks to how you can prevent your skin from oiling up. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and share with you guys the steps. Alright, so to start off, kailangan talaga nagawa mo na lahat ng skin routine mo. This is very important. Marami talaga kasing nagsasabi, and I myself, guilty ako dito, ginagawa ko to before. I even had some videos about it na hindi nag-moisturizer ng face or nag-moisture ng face. And to be honest with you guys, I learned it the hard way. I just can't reiterate more how important it is na mag-moisturizer tayo regardless of whatever skin type meron ka. Most especially kung oily skin ka. The reason being is kasi it kind of contradicts or sort of uh, makes your skin believe na meron kang enough moisture sa skin and your oil glands doesn't need to work twice or thrice as hard as it used to be kasi the more you make your face feel more mattified, the more yung oil glands mo nag-work at nag-produce ng oil, if that even makes sense. So, it's very important na ma-moisturize mo yung face mo before applying any makeup. So, that's that. I've already done it on my face. Kung kailangan mo magkaroon ng under eye cream, do it as well before doing anything else. And once you're done with that, the next step is to set your face. It's very important talaga na magawa mo tong step na to kasi ito yung parang magiging barrier, initial barrier mo between your skin and your makeup. So, make sure na makahanap ka ng isang um, setting spray na mag-fit or mag-work para sa skin type mo. I have two makeup sprays here. One is itong MAC, which is my favorite by the way. I've been using this non-stop since I've tried it. I know it's expensive, pero it's good thing na naglapas si MAC ng smaller version nito. It cost me around parang 700 or 800 ata or something less than 1,000 pesos para dito. But the bigger version or the full um, full size would cost you around 1,500 or something like that. I forgot pero I'll just put the link down in the info box para makita nyo kung ano yung actual price ito kasi I'm so bad with prices. So, ayan. And then another one that I've tried so far, ito pa lang talaga yung dalawang setting spray na natatry ko. Ito yung L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender. So, this one is a good alternative kung gusto mo lang makapag-try ng makeup spray. So, for today, I'll be using my MAC kasi aalis din ako mamaya. Lalabas kami kaya gamitin ko na lang to. 
So, yan. Tapos, hayaan ko lang siyang ma-absorb ng skin ko. And then, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put some lip scrub. This is my DIY lip scrub. Ayan. Ano lang to? Sugar and uh, lip balm. Next step is to use a primer that is suitable for your skin type. So for me, I'm using this No Shine Quick Effects. This is really working well with my skin. So I put some around my face. So once that is done, the next type, uh, the next step rather, is to powder your face. I know it's crazy and it sounds crazy, <laughs> but to be honest with you guys, talaga nag work to. And the one I'm using right now is yung Ben Nye Translucent or Colorless Powder. This one is a little expensive compared to other um, brands. But you can also try, parang napunta sa akong lahat ng powder. Ayan. You can also try to itong BYS na translucent, loose powder. As long as wala siyang color, it's good. Kasi it won't con contradict or counteract sa mismo foundation color mo. So, ito. Magandang option din to so far. And this one, I also use this to bake my face and all. But for today, I'll be using my Ben Nye. Pero, please note, you don't need a lot of powder para iset yung face. The important thing is, maset mo siya, ma-absorb nung powder, yung any excess oils na meron pang naiwan after you have moisturized and set your face with a setting powder. So, yun lang talaga yung ultimate purpose nito. Kaya kailangan natin siyang iset. And I know for sure na narinig or nakita nyo na to sa ibang makeup uh, gurus or ginagawa rin to ng ibang makeup artists. So, yun yung gagawin ko. Konti lang. And then, very little. I'm just running this all over my face. Make sure na malagyan nyo yung T-zone area nyo kasi yan yung matalas. Unang mag oil up. Alright, so the next thing is to apply some foundation. Ito ang pinaka parang holy grail ko pagdating sa foundation drugstore line. So far, ito pa lang talaga yung foundation na na-try ko, na-test ko, na talagang tumagal sa face ko. At the end of the day, syempre nag-oil up pa rin siya. But it's something that is much tolerable compared sa iba. It's a mattifying foundation, so definitely kung oily skin ka, I would suggest you go for a foundation na mattifying din, katulad nito. And when using this, I'm gonna use a very little amount. Kasi sabi nga nila, less is more. If you don't need much coverage, if you don't need to cover a lot of stuff on your, on your face, don't put too much makeup or don't put too much foundation in particular around your face. And then, I would also suggest you apply first around sa perimeters, yung outer perimeters ng face mo. And then, less lang yung product na ilagay nyo sa inyong T-zone. Kasi ako, madalas nag-oil up ako first thing sa T-zone area. So, kung maglalagay ako ng foundation, I would suggest na lagay nyo muna yung perimeter ng face nyo and then whatever is left on your sponge or on your brush, yun lang yung ilalagay nyo dun sa mismo T-zone. Especially under the eyes kasi if you're planning to put some um, concealer pa, then I would suggest na konting foundation lang yung pinakailalagay nyo under the eyes. Again, unti lang ang kakailanganin mo. Hindi mo kailangan magigamit ng marami dito sa foundation na to. Um, it's um, a medium coverage, by the way. So, I'll be using my fingers to somehow distribute the product first. Alright, so the next step is to conceal um, my under eye area, I started loving itong Maybelline um, Instant Nature Wine Concealer. It has a really nice coverage in it, um, but I find it a little drying underneath the eyes. So sometimes I mix it with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but I don't have it with me right now. 
but for today since I have very light foundation I wanted something really nice underneath the eyes and this one is ito nga yung gagamitin ko medium shade and then today I'm gonna put a little bit of itong L'Oreal True Match na concealer in light and then again I'm only gonna be using a little amount of this you don't need a lot and then using the same sponge I'm gonna blend it out Alright, then the next, next thing I'm gonna do is to set my face and I'm gonna be using my PYS Translucent Powder. I love this powder. This is somehow what I've been using lately. Or not lately, actually for the past few months na ito na yung ginagamit ko. And I don't know why, pero talagang nag-work sa akin yung um, loose powder and then, or any powder in that matter, and then a damp sponge. Ito na rin yung gagamitin ko. Again, you don't need to put a lot of product if you don't want to. Very konti lang guys. You don't need a lot. Ngayon, once that is done, babalikan ko yung brush na ginamit ko kanina using yung translucent powder and then I'm gonna dust off any excess powder sa face ko. Ayan. Don't worry. Hindi naman siya gagalaw. Ngayon, pag may mga konting tira pa dun sa powder nyo, guys, I actually suggest you use it. You put it on your neck, on your ears, para pantay naman siya. Hindi naman siya yung parang naiiwanan floating head. So, the last step is to apply another layer of setting spray. Believe it or not, this is gonna seal everything in. It's gonna make all your foundation, makeup, and all the stuff that you put on your face locked in. And it will prevent it from cakiness as well. So, ayun. It. This is the final look that I will be wearing mamaya sa dinner namin. <laughs> mamaya lalabas kami kasi may dinner kami sa labas. And yeah, this is gonna last me throughout the night up until talagang tanggalin ko siya. And it's very easy to do. But as mentioned, it's the foundation itself. Hindi siya talaga yung 100% oil proof. At the end of the day, mag-oil up at mag-oil up pa rin ako. But it's still manageable compared to how I do it before. Na talagang 4 hours pa lang mag-oil up na yung face ko. Anyway, so itong look na to is very simple. If you guys are interested to know how I achieved this, let me know in the comment section below. And all the products that I used on this look will also be listed down in the info box in case you guys wanted to know. But yeah, basically that's it. If you guys have any questions about this procedure, let me know in the comment section below and we'll try to address them. Again, thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to put some like on it or give it a thumbs up. Share if you know someone na kailangan ng itong procedure, ganitong step na nag-suffer din sa oily skin and hopefully makatulong tayo sa kanya. Yeah! Basically, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video, everyone. Bye!